Hello, my name is Stephen Carr and I'd like to welcome you to another SketchUp cooking class. In this particular class, I think I'd like to look at extracting materials from SketchUp so that we can take them into Photoshop, so we can use them in Photoshop to make a materials board or um, just if we're changing materials, whatever we're trying to do, just allows us to extract these materials. So first of all, what I'm going to do here is this is my one of my original drawings and because it's got lots of different sections on it and things like that, I don't want to destroy any of this stuff. I just want to keep the drawing intact. So I'm just going to go File, Save As. And then this will just, I'm just going to just call it, I'm just going to say Sections here. And save this drawing. The idea of what I'm trying to do here is that we're going to be working with this drawing so that we can use it uh, with Photoshop. And I'm just going to bring in my Scenes Manager here. This would be like Windows and uh, Scenes. Sorry, not that Styles. I want Scenes. And I've got my plan view there, so I'm just going to highlight the rest of these views, and I'm just going to delete these scenes. This just leaves me with the plan scene. So um, I'll be adding more scenes a little bit, but for now I'll just uh, we'll just start with this one here, and we'll work from here. Now, uh, one of the problems that we have when we try to get the materials from SketchUp. I'll just bring in my materials and we'll just click on materials in the model. So there's lots of materials in here. Uh, I probably a lot of them I'm not using anymore so I should actually go into window and model info and stats and I'm going to purge them. So I've got like 165 components, 129 materials. Surely I can get that down a little bit. So I've dropped it down. So I have dropped it down. So this will make work a little bit easier and also when you're going through your materials here, a little less of a problem. So uh, when we try to take materials out, now a lot of these materials that are in here, uh, we've actually brought them in. So hopefully you've kept them, the, the originals in a folder so you can just pull them out of the folder to bring them into your materials board in Photoshop. Um, if, for instance, we wanted to take this color here, there's color B11, if I click on it, if I right click, sometimes you have to wait a little bit of time, I can do a save as, it says export texture image, I can't do that, edit, I can't do that because it's not available as an option with this color, so if I click on save as, it comes up and it gives me an SKM, this is a SketchUp material. So um, I can't really do anything with the SketchUp material in Photoshop, so I can't really do this. So I'm just going to cancel this. Now, if I was to go to some of my other materials, like I've got this, this metal material here, if I right-click on that, and I go to do a save, and I can actually export texture, and it actually allows me to export it into my work folder as a metal corrugated shiny JPEG. So that's fine. So any materials that give you this option, that's really good. You can actually save them as a PNG or a TIFF or a bitmap as well. But we'll just work with JPEGs. They work quite well in, in um, Photoshop. So I could export that material and I would be fine. So I'm just going to go into my work folder here. And there's some materials already in here. So I'll just export this. And that's that's just perfectly fine. So I could do the same thing for uh, these tiles here. I can export it. Everything is just absolutely cool. So that's really good. But I'm not. I'm just going to stop here. Uh, you, you can do this with your own model. So the problem is now. What do we do with these colors? How do I get these colors out of here? It's not too bad. What we're going to do here, or what I'm going to do here, is. Um, Actually, I'm just going to pan my model over, and oh, I can see I've got a background in here. I'll just turn that layer off, backdrop. I'm just going to uh, create a big rectangle here, 
and I'm just going to paste this material onto it. So I'll just move my materials out of the way here. And uh, now I'm just going to select on that and zoom in here. And just so I'm just going to fill the screen with this color. So this is fine. It's really easy to do. And then I just go into File and Export 2D Graphic. So I need to export this as a 2D graphic. Again, go into my work folder. And I'm just going to call this one. We already have a red here. It may even be the same red. I'm just going to call this one Red 2. So that I can collect these different colors. And I'm exporting it. And now I can look at some more material colors that I have inside my drawing. I've got this blue that I'm using somewhere. So I can just paint that blue. And again, file, export as a 2D graphic. And this time I'm just going to call it blue. blue one. You might have two or three different colors you're working with, so we can do one more of these, and this pretty much ends what we're trying to do with our color. So if I can go into this uh, khaki color. So again, I'll just paint that on here. And now I'm just going to call this khaki one. So file. Export is a 2D graphic. And this is called Khaki 1. And export it. So this is pretty much all you really need to do while you're going through this process here. Once you've got all your materials out that you want to get out of here, you're in pretty good shape. Again, a few other materials that you can export if you like. So with that in mind, I'm just going to extend to here and I'm just going to select this and delete it. So this pretty much uh, ends this part of extracting materials out of here. So I'll just... Uh, that was interesting. Pan. That's better. So anyway... Um, We'll just leave this session at here and we'll come back and we'll look at creating our plans and elevations and sections. Thank you.